Stop playing dating games. Playing hard to get is not the move, trust me. So first off, let me say that I have a lot of respect for people that encourage other people to just be their authentic selves. I think if we started more conversations and disagreements with respect for the other person, what they can see on the outside immediately, you know, we could have a better discussion about these kind of things. So any dating coach worth his salt is going to encourage their clients to be their authentic selves. And yeah, they're going to teach them some tips and tricks kind of thing, right? But any dating coach that only teaches the tips and tricks that are like real gimmicky, those guys aren't real dating coaches. The guys with experience that know, you know, how stuff works are the guys that realize that only you, your authentic self, is going to be the one to win over the girl. We just teach you some strategies for making that happen a little bit better, making it easier to get in front of that girl to show who you really are. Now, the problem with this mentality of just like, just be yourself, bro, is that it doesn't take into consideration the fact that women are subconsciously weighing your options as you're talking to each other in the talking phase, okay? So... Yes, they're going to come out the gates in many cases with a high level of interest. They're going to be sending you hard eye emojis, big paragraphs, and all this kind of stuff. They're going to want to talk about everything under the sun. And as you continue to suss out that conversation, what's going to happen is she's going to recognize the fact that you're not putting your attention anywhere else. And so she begins to formulate this subconscious idea that maybe you don't have any other options. Also, if you know how attraction works, mystery and space play into attraction in a very big way. So as you continue to flesh out this big conversation over text, what tends to happen is that you're whittling away her attraction for you, her interest. She loses her sense of mystery about you, and now she's less likely to want to meet up and go on a date with you. So when you get to the date, yeah, like you're going to be you. You're not going to act any certain way or anything like that. But to even get to the date, when you know, if you're dealing with a dating app and you're meeting you know, strangers over the internet, to even get to that point, there's a lot of things that you have to understand that the rate, you know, like the average Joe doesn't know that, for example, if he worked with a dating coach, he would learn some stuff that would make it easier for him to get out on dates. Now, I didn't make things this way. I didn't design it this way. This is just the way it works. The guys up at the top um, are being chased by the women, right? And the less successful guys are chasing the women. This is the way it works. And so you don't want to indicate that you're one of the chasers. Now, coming from a place of like being a nerd growing up, you know, I, I tried to follow your heart kind of thing, and it doesn't get you anywhere. Um, you know, and a lot of that has to do with needing to heal your life and kind of building a cool life and then starting to talk to girls from that place. But I work with guys every single day that actually have really, really cool lives, um, but they still don't know exactly what to do. Anyway, thanks for the discussion. Drop your thoughts in the comments and catch you later.